What's up guys, Jay here from XL Gaming bringing some long-awaited update about the mobile version of one of the most successful MOBA franchises of all time. I am of course talking about League of Legends Wild Rift. Just a quick reminder that as of now, nothing is set in stone and that anything might change in the future including the timelines that have been shared by the game's developer, Riot Games. Now with that out of the way, let's go through this video's agenda. First, we're gonna talk about the details of the limited beta release and second, which devices you have to have in order to play the game. In an official Twitter post, Riot announced that the candidates for the limited beta are the Philippines and Brazil. And this is bound to happen on June of this year. I personally have been waiting for this announcement and I am so glad that I have chosen the Philippines as one of their testing grounds out of all of the countries in the Southeast Asian region because I am from the Philippines. I'm sure you already know that if you've been following my channel. But that's equally important to me for a couple of reasons. Number one, I won't have to sideload the game. I can just download it directly either from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Number two, they'll have a dedicated server that would cater to my region, which means that there's a good chance that I won't have to deal with latency issues or issues with lag. And number three, there's a chance of getting accepted for the beta program so I can create content for you guys. And even if I don't get chosen, it's still going to be a relatively easier process for me to look for someone who got into the program as I happen to belong to a community of mobile MOBA players. Now, Riot says they'll share more details come the end of May. Fingers crossed, everything happens according to their timelines because finally, Mobile Legends will have a worthy competition and they'll most likely have to step up their game which can only mean good news for the consumers. I mean, here in the Philippines, Mobile Legends have become so popular that some people think that the word MOBA is short for Mobile Legends. Many of them don't know that it's actually an acronym for something else. I'm hoping that Wild Drift has the recipe to shake the mobile MOBA space and spice things up for the benefit of its consumers. If you haven't registered yet, head on to your respective app store and click on the registration button now. If you've already registered and you're wondering if you have the device needed to play the game, you don't really have to buy a brand new phone in order to experience Wild Drift. For iOS users, if you have an iPhone 6 or better, you guys are good. And in the Android space, phones with at least a Snapdragon 410 processor and an Adreno 306 GPU will do the trick. Now, these are very humble specs if you ask me, as the likes of Samsung Galaxy J5 released in 2016 is more than sufficient to play the game. And that's it. Now we'll just have to wait for Riot's announcement by the end of the month. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the latest on League of Legends Wild Drift. And as always, stay safe and healthy. I'll catch you in the next one. Jay signing off. Peace.